Good morning, darlings. I hope that the start of your Memorial Day weekend is amazing. I'm enjoying myself in a very peaceful place here on the beach. I had some inspiration that I wanted to share with you. Even in your brokenness, even in your sadness, even in the most traumatic time of your life, God can send someone into your life to help you heal. We have to stop trying to carry everything on our own. A lot of times we say there's nobody there for us. And it's not that there's no one there for us. It's who we want to be there for us is not there. So we isolate ourselves. We reject those around us that are there offering help. Now, there are people that just want to be nosy. You got to know the difference. But there are those that are there to help us through that broken season of our lives. That's why I believe it is so, so, so important that you open your heart to love. You see, there's so many of us, including myself, that have had bad news, have had some things going on, or it could just be that you just tired, you know, of doing it all by yourself. But if you don't allow anyone in, you can't say what you don't have. There's someone out there that will accept you as is, just the way you are, not trying to change you, not trying to make you into something that you're not, but they're there to help you to see who you are. Because guess what? Nine times out of 10, you are a star in their eye anyway, even when you're at your worst. That's the kind of person that you want around. Someone that can see you for who you are, even when you're not feeling your best. The worst feeling is going through life challenges and changes alone. That's how depression sets in. That's how suicidal thoughts sets in. That's, you know, how we live a dysfunctional life. Meaning, you know how to put the face on for everyone else. But behind closed doors, you are losing it. But you're doing it alone all because you don't want anyone to see you in that state. We're often told that we need to be whole and healed before God will send someone into our life. Bull crap. God heals people through people, but you got to let somebody in. It's so important. It's a lesson that I had to learn. You got to stop screaming who's not there for you when you don't show your vulnerability and let anyone in. Men and women, we definitely need each other. We need each other more than we know. I remember about five years ago, I went out on a date with someone and he took me to the house and he cooked dinner. It was beautiful. He gave me a tour of the house. But when we got to the gym, his gym was upstairs. He said, one of my biggest fears is that something will happen to me on this treadmill and no one will check on me for days. He said, because I don't have a woman in my life, no one's ever gonna come home. He said, I really do want a wife. He said, every morning I get up and I have breakfast at my table. And it was a table, round table with two chairs, one on each side and some flowers in the middle. He said, and that's what I desire. So I get up every morning and I have breakfast as though the lady of my life has arrived. He said, because you never know what will happen you know, in your life to the point that you really need somebody, but when you do need them, there's nobody there. Now that was a powerful statement that he made and it stuck with me. We have to stop trying to do and handle everything on our own. There's so many people walking around with emotional issues that they're carrying by themselves because they don't want to look weak. Fellas, there's a lot of you that are really, really hurting. And what you really need is a feminine woman. You need that feminine touch around that can help you heal, but you're so caught up in not wanting to burden anybody. You're so caught up in not wanting to put uh, all of your situations on them. That's not it. When God sends someone into your life, they can handle it. You just gotta allow them to. That's really what it is. And I meet so many men that are broken and that are hurting, and I can look at them and say, Honestly, what you really need is the feminine touch. It's not sex. It's actually the feminine touch. And it's the same thing with the ladies. Sometimes it's not money or material things that you want. It's that masculine energy that you need that will help heal your soul. It's the touch of a grown man who can see you for 
who you are, not the mask that you're putting on. But if you don't let anyone in, if you're so guarded, he won't come into your life. So even in your brokenness, God can send someone that is very well equipped to handle everything that you're going through. But you got to be able to see it and open up. That's all I have to share with you today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourself. And think about what I said. 